Welcome to this podcast of the International Dermoscopy Society. This is Elvira Moscarella speaking. Okay. Welcome to this podcast of the International Dermoscopy Society. This is Elvira Moscarella speaking from Naples, Italy. And we will speak about uh, dermoscopy of atypical fibroxantoma. Uh, this is a tumor of the fibrous tissue. Um, it's an unusual skin mesenchymal tumor. By definition, AFX, AFX does, do not display any evident line of differentiation except from the uh, microblastic micro features seen by electron microscopy. In histology, we can see exceedingly pleomorphic spindle cell type morphology. Uh, from a clinical point of view, this is a tumor of the sun-exposed parts and of elderly individuals. Usually, it appears as a rapidly enlarging reddish dome-shaped nodule, often eroded, ulcerated with a crusted surface. And um, this tumor ten has a tendency to recur after incomplete excision, but with an excellent pro prognosis. Just wide local excision uh, is recommended for this tumor. This is one example of a typical fibroxantoma AFX on the frontal area of uh, an 80 year old man uh, with an crusted uh, nodule um, and uh, in dermoscopy there have been some reports uh, um, a few years ago uh, highlighting uh, the presence of uh, reddish and whitish areas polymorphous vascular pattern ulceration crusting and keratin masses this is why uh, we decided to collect a series of cases through the IDS Dermoscopy Society and we included 13 centers uh, which contributed with 40 cases of AFX uh, and with control cases of basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma which are the, the main tumors in differential diagnosis with AFX in the clinical practice. Uh, we collected the clinical information, clinical and dermoscopic pictures, both polarized and non-polarized dermoscopy when available. Um, and two evaluators uh, evaluated a series of dermoscopic features, um, including also white lines. Uh, with the term white lines, uh, we included um, shiny white lines, crystalline structures and inverse network. This is um, the study population with 40 uh, tumors. So from the 40 uh, tumors and the control population um, of BCC and uh, SCC. And as you can see, the majority of lesions were located on the head and neck area with the great majority on the scalp, uh, mainly uh, elderly individuals and mainly men and nodular and non-pigmented tumors. Uh, from a dermoscopic point of view, a red structureless area, white structureless areas, and linear irregular vessels were the most common features uh, found in uh, AFX, so non-specific features under the dermoscopy, and these are some examples from our collection. Nodular tumors on uh, sun-exposed areas, on extremely sun-damaged skin, and in dermoscopy, linear irregular vessels, white uh, structureless areas, and uh, in some cases, ulcerated tumors. Here another example with uh, white and yellow keratin masses apart from a red structureless areas. And here a more nodular tumor in which also the differential diagnosis was, was a Merkel cell carcinoma. In a sub-analysis, we, um, uh, uh, we compared AFX with, first with BCC, so excluding SCC from the analysis, but none of the criteria found achieved a statistical significance. Uh, on the contrary, when excluding BCC, so thus comparing AFX with SCC, three variables achieved a statistical significance in predicting AFX. The presence of red structureless areas, the absence of white yellow scales and the absence of white circles. Uh, so um, in, in, um, um, uh, in summary, uh, an AFX seems to be barely distinguishable from 
non-pigmented BCC dermoscopically, so no, no feature achieved uh, uh, a um, uh, significance when comparing non-pigmented BCCs and non-pigmented uh, AFX. It's more easily distinguishable from uh, well to moderately differentiated SCC, those squamous cell carcinoma um, exhibiting white and yellowish um, uh, wh yellowish keratin plaques, uh, white scales, uh, and so well moderated or white circles, uh, and it's uh, not distinguishable from poorly differentiated uh, SCC. Thank you for your attention.